Yo, what's going on guys? Wish back at it with another video. Want to give you guys a heads up on a major update coming to one of my favorite games of the year. Whenever I get an opportunity to gush about Hi-Fi Rush, you know I'm going to take said opportunity. And now there's even more reason to gush about the game. One of my favorite titles of 2023 thus far so we'll talk about that and on top of that have a bit of an update on an upcoming game in july exo primal is capcom's latest game and let's be honest capcom bit uh, been on bit of a hot streak uh, i don't know how much this game is going to resonate at a high level however it is coming to xbox game pass and it will be having an open beta test for those of you guys that do want to check it out so we'll talk all about exo primal in a little bit but first of all hi-fi rush arcade challenge update launches july 5th adds new game mode special attacks and more this will be a free update coming to Hi-Fi Rush, and Hi-Fi Rush, of course, was a game done by Tango Gameworks, the same studio that brought you The Evil Within. This one, obviously, much different. Being an action music rhythm game, it's a super interesting game that uh, you really haven't seen anything like it before. Uh, the new update notes, test your abilities in two new game modes, uncover new rewards, and even a few secrets in the Arcade Challenge update. The new BPM Rush mode tasks players to battle waves of enemies to music with a steadily increasing BPM or beats per minute as you defeat each wave and tackle toughen up new foes. The BPM will speed up to the next level up to a whopping 200 BPM. In Power Up Tower Up, players take on the Rhythm Tower challenges with a new twist. Power Up Tower Up introduces upgrades and bugs between rounds. Upgrades boost Chai's stats and provide other helpful boons, but at the cost of a lowered score multiplier, bugs meanwhile boost your score potential and get you closer to those stylish S ranks, but at a cost. The Arcade Challenge update also introduces new special attack star our mechanical buddies cinnamon and a smidge new challenges to earn new photo mode stickers and some new t-shirts for chai test out new poses and filters for photo mode and more of course hi-fi rush currently available on steam as well as xbox game pass the steam version was on sale is it still on sale it's unfortunately not on sale anymore 29.99 for the game but i still think it's easily worth 20 uh 29.99 it's just a fantastic game that i would strongly recommend the game is, however, uh, on sale at Green Man Gaming. It's 32% off for $20.39. That's for XP members and non-XP members. Strongly recommend the game. It's fantastic. Know a lot of you guys prefer your Xbox Game Pass, but if you do want to own the game, that is a great option as well. And, uh, yeah, just a fantastic game. And, you know, Microsoft hasn't been publishing a lot of major titles that have been received really well. Hi-Fi Rush, I wouldn't say, was a major game, but it was such a surprising game that everybody really enjoyed. You know, the stealth drop can work at times, and I think for Hi-Fi Rush, it certainly worked. I don't know how much benefit this game would have gotten if there was this big promotional vehicle behind it. Now, with the game now established, Establishing itself if you ever do a hi-fi rush too, I would not be doing a stealth drop for that and honestly with how this game was re uh, received, I would probably try to expand Hi-Fi Rush 2 into a, you know, full-fledged uh, $60 game. That's what I would personally try to do. And if you're telling me, oh, a game like this can't be expanded into that and nobody would pay $60, well, first of all, it'll be on Xbox Game Pass. And at the same time, I think the reception has been so strong. The game is so unique that uh, it would be uh, fine at $60 if uh, you do expand it. Obviously, like Hi-Fi Rush in the form that it is currently, yeah, $30 was a perfectly suitable price point for that. But uh, now that the IP has been established, now that people rave about the game, myself included, um, it's time to take what they've built with Hi-Fi Rush, realize that there's an audience of fan base for it, and I think they can expand it and grow that audience even more. I don't know how well this game did commercially. It's hard to quantify that just because the game did hit Xbox Game Pass right away. So obviously, you know, games are just not going to sell as well when they are on Game Pass. So if you look at like the sales numbers, and again, that isn't publicly available, but there was some talk that this game may have commercially underperformed. Well, people mostly probably played it on Game Pass. So, um... You know, I think it's fine, and I think they have a gem on their hands. And hey, they're doing an update six months after the release of the original game, and it's a sizable update as well. So hopefully Tango will be doing a sequel to the game at some point. That is my uh, hope. And, you know, with how the game ended, I think there is definitely, you know, area, you uh, opportunity for a sequel, I should say. Moving on from that... 
The Capcom Showcase was yesterday, and I had known going into that showcase that unfortunately, a game that I personally am not that excited for, Exo Primal, was going to have a big emphasis on that show. Look, I've been wanting a Dino Crisis game from Capcom forever, so when I initially saw Exo Primal, yeah, I was going to feel a little slighted, and I was going to be like, damn, you're doing this, but you won't do a new Dino Crisis. Um, Exo Primal, obviously a multiplayer-focused live service style game. It is a full price $60 game, but it'll also be on Xbox Game Pass, so that's quite nice. And a second Exo Primal open beta test will be running from June 15th at 5 p.m. Pacific time, 8 p.m. Eastern, to June 18th at 4.59 p.m. Pacific, 7.59 p.m. Eastern. So it'll be running for three days. The second open beta test will feature new elements, including 10-player cooperative missions and story missions that provide a more in-depth at the game's main mode, which is Dino Survival. Users who participate in the second open beta test will also qualify to receive the Flash Zephyr skin as a special bonus item in the full game. Capcom also revealed the new Exosuit variant, Dead Eye Alpha Burst First, and a special cooperative mode called Savage Gauntlet. The latter challenges teams of five players with a player versus environment missions that rotate weekly, so that'll keep you coming back to the game i just don't know you know how much the buzz is going to be there for this game now it is going to be on game pass which i think is going to be a great benefit to the game but as we've talked about it before these live service games these multiplayer focused titles the be all end all is going to be can you keep a sustainable user base and in this case you know Capcom's getting a healthy check from Microsoft. There's going to be an added emphasis in the player base, given that it is going to be on Xbox Game Pass, and most people are probably going to play it that way and not spend $60 on it. So hopefully it is going to be a sustainable game. And again, Capcom has been on such a hot streak that like they're at that point where, man, they put out 290 plus games on Metacritic in the span of three months with RE4 Remake and Street Fighter VI. Now, those are iconic, well-known franchises, but I just hope that Capcom can really keep up that momentum, even if it's with a game that I felt slighted by because it wasn't Dino Crisis. Look, that's me being childish, and hopefully they can do something of quality with Exo Primal when it does drop in again. The open beta test is going to be free to everybody, June 15th to the 18th, so you'll have a chance to check out the game. So that'll be doing it for me. Again, Hi-Fi Rush getting an arcade challenge update, a free update launching on July 5th, adding new game modes and special attacks. That's going to be great. And yeah, if you're interested in picking up Hi-Fi Rush, that deal on Green Man Gaming is great. The game isn't super, super lengthy. It's still, you know, 8 to 12 hours, probably 8 to 10 hours, but the game actually has quite a bit of uh, post-game content. So there's reason to go back, and now with this new update, the game's just getting bigger that's just great and it's a fantastic game so definitely check it out if not game pass uh is a great way to play it as well so check that out an exo primal second open beta test set for june 15th until the 18th that'll do it for me let me know all your thoughts in the comments section down below as always thanks for watching and i will catch you guys in the next one peace out Hey, what's going on, guys? Mush here again. Hope you enjoyed the video. As you guys might know, YouTube's notification system is sometimes a little bit wonky, even if you're subscribed to the channel. Maybe you're not abundantly aware that I uploaded a video to remedy that situation. Make sure you hit the bell notification button. This way, whenever I upload a new video and I try to upload as consistently as possible, you will be notified directly of the upload and you can watch it as soon as it goes live. I would really appreciate it if you guys hit that button so you can stay up to date with all of the content I'm posting. But as always, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.